If you have a clutched engine, especially a Vitorazzi Master Plus, then this is a video for you. In today's episode, we will show you how to inspect and replace the clutch on this lovely engine. Make sure that you have springs and release the tension directly to the kit. Step Hi there, my name is Stefan. Welcome back to the Paramotor Engine Maintenance Series. As I said before, in today's episode, we will inspect and replace the clutch and record every single operation and show you how to do it back home. For this operation, we will need some special tools and those are small ratchet, long extension, short extension, 13 mm socket, 14 mm socket, 5 mm bit, 17 mm wrench, the special Vitorazzi key for adjusting the belt tension, Phillips screwdriver, 22 mm long socket, spark plug key, torque wrench, piston stopper, three close puller, special pliers for safety C-clip, grease, gloves, of course eye protection, electric drill with small drill bit, small wood screw and of course heat gun. First we need to remove the belt. Please check our previous episode where we showed you how to replace and retention the belt and you will see how, how it's done. Now we have the belt removed, it's time to remove the big pulley. For doing that we need to remove the 8mm bolt completely. And now just pull the pulley outside. Please be sure not to lose the washer. Now we can put this aside. Next step is to remove the clutch belt drum. Removing the drum is not a complicated operation. For doing that we will need to drill a hole into this rubber cap. We will drill a hole exactly into the middle of it. After drilling the cap using a simple wood screw we will just screw this in and we will extract the cap so we have the cap off now we need to trash it we will install a new one now it's time to remove the safety seat clip after removing the seat clip we can remove the clutch belt for doing that we can use a simple three close puller that you can find at any hardware store a very important tip please be sure that you use a three claw puller not two not four because the clutch has three jaws and you need to install these claws of the puller in the spaces between the clutch jaws so it will look like this pay very close attention to this because you may damage the clutch clutch bell is now removed we should inspect it yeah it looks pretty good for 70 hours now let's clean it please be sure that you use eye protection while you're using compressed air now removing the clutch from the crankshaft is just as simple as unscrewing it but as you can see the clutch spins with the crankshaft stopping the crankshaft is very simple using this tool is called a piston stopper for obvious reasons because it stops the piston it blocks the piston movement so take off the spark plug and screw this in but please be sure that you screw it in all the way it's very important Now, as you can see, movement of the crankshaft is stopped, so we can proceed with unscrewing the clutch using a 22 long, 22 millimeter long socket. And 
and the clutch is out. Now be sure that you clean the surfaces and inspect for wear and damage. We have no oil leaks, everything is perfect, it looks like new. Now we will install the new clutch. Installing the clutch is just as simple as screw it in. Be sure that you catch the thread correctly. So after doing that, it should go very easy. And just tighten it a little bit so you're sure that when you first start the engine, it won't get unscrewed. Now let's put everything back together and we are done. Installing the clutch drum back onto the crankshaft will be done using heat. What Vitorats recommends is heating up the ball bearings from the outer side, from the side with the bearing that has metallic caps. And they recommend of doing four cycles of two seconds of the heat gun, two seconds off. Two seconds of the heat gun, two seconds off. From my personal experience and what I found out that works a little bit better is just doing four cycles of four seconds of the heat gun, two seconds off. Four seconds of the heat gun, two seconds off. You will heat up the bearings a little bit better and they will slide way better onto the crankshaft. And doing that, you don't risk to heat up the bearings so much that you will damage them in any way. After applying a very small amount of grease onto the crankshaft for allowing the, the bearings to slide better, now let's start the heat cycles. Let the heat gun be pretty hot. And we will do one, two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Should be ready to install. And it's just as simple as that. Now install the safety C clip back. Be sure that it snaps in place. Now we will install the new protection cap. All that we need to do now is to install the big pulley, the belt, retention the belt, and we are done. Mounting the big pulley back onto the engine is pretty straightforward. You just need to slide the eccentric back into its location and be sure that you install it at two o'clock position. Now install the eight millimeter bolt that holds the eccentric into place. Install the belt, retention, and that's it. For the correct installation and retentioning of the belt, please be sure that you check the video where we showed you how to replace and retention the belt. I will add the link to that video in the description down below. Now, after installing everything back, we have successfully replaced the clutch that should last for at least 100 hours. As in Europe now, the winter is settled in. You should now check your engine and do the service accordingly to the flying hours that you have on your counter. So please go to the eshop.scottparamotor.com and buy every single spare part that you need because you can find them there very easy and accessible with the next day delivery. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure that you hit the like and subscribe button because we'll have a lot more videos to come where we will do a complete service to this engine showing you how to replace every single spare part that you need to change it 50, 100, 200 hours. See you in the next one. Ciao.